Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Marcus Aurelius, and this is Dominions 4, the Thrones of Ascension. We are Ulm, and we are forging ahead. And between episodes, I went ahead and moved all of our scouts around. I'm building quite the network of scouts, and I also just made sure everything was set up. I tweaked the research a bit as we only need 54 to get to Conjuration 3, so I moved a little bit over to Construction, where I will be moving next, because we now have a pretty good amount of Earth Gems, and I want to get some Dwarven Hammers out, which will help us immeasurably in the days to come. And also, the Chief should be coming out at some point soon. Here we're already in winter of the first year, so it's almost been about 12 turns. We should be seeing him soon. But first, let's see how we handled the heavy cav in this province filled with lovely fluffy sheep. Oh, there's not that many of them. Well, they did some damage, but now that their charge is done, I believe, yes, they have lost the stomach to fight. Alright, what did we lose? Three infantry, Zui. Well, it happens. Alright, what's up here? Horse tribe. We should conquer these guys, but they're kind of out of the way right now. So we'll, we'll wait on that. Thor is building his castle. Platinum Black is going to search for sites of magic. Therizamund is going to be... Yickley. Welcome, Yikoli. Alright, you're researching? That's exactly what we want you to do. Abstract Trader Hero is getting loaded up, and I think we are ready to go. So, Conan and Abstract Trader Hero are going to head to High Woods, as are Varabel and Miskatonic. Alright, so you're holding attacking rear. You're going to go... Well, there's no no reason to have them stand on top of each other. So we'll move you down a little bit. And we will keep all of our crossbows together, however. You will also fire closest. And I guess we'll attack from both sides as far as this. So you're going to hold and attack closest, and you are going to hold and attack rearmost. Alright, Conan, I don't have anything for you, so you're just going to have to stay behind the troops and hopefully survive to fight another day. We'll put you way in the back here. And Abstract Trader Hero, you are going to Earth Power Summon, you are going to Stone Skin, and we'll give you one Earth Might. Combustion, and then hopefully end with an Earth Meld. Miskatonic. We're going to move your Stone Skin down and give you some Earth Power as well. Alright. I mean, that should do her, folks. High Woods is well guarded, but... We have Mage backup. We have crack Ulmish troops. We should be doing quite well. Thor has five more turns. Alright. Alright. We'll move you down. We'll move you over here. You're going to go over here. Dimitri's is going to hang out. Sylvanas has not yet witnessed any of our enemies. There's one of the underwater nations up there. And Batman is going to take out, or take a look, I should say, at the Impassable Mountains. And it appears that one of the first enemies we're going to be engaging with, well, maybe not the first enemies, we're still quite a distance away from us, but there's Black Ulm. And this actually makes me a little happy because their capital must be around here somewhere. It might even have been the swamp, which would be fantastic. But the reason why I'm happy about that is because they're not down here in this little island, and people in this little island have a huge bonus. It's kind of a benefit. And it was noted to me that Black Ulm might be a little overpowered. Time shall tell. Time shall tell. Alright. 
Silvius. You are actually going to scout out Black Ulm. We're going to find out where their capital is. Cluentius. We're going to move you to the west. All right. Excellent. Let's move our research to full bore construction. And we're going to follow the construction path till hopefully level 6. If we have to stop at some point. I and mean, there's really nothing else we really need at this point. We could, if we so chose, get to Bladewind level 4 evocation. That'll make our smiths a bit more worthwhile. But I'd rather start getting some items produced. So we're just going to go with construction and see where that takes us. Did I name everyone? I did. I did. All right. Good, good. All right. Platinum Black. Oh, good job, Platinum Black. Actually, not that good a job because it's right next to our capital, so it's going to take away some of our production. But still, still, another castle is nothing to sneeze at. And here it is. Here it is, folks. The Battle of High Woods. Hopefully the Guardians are high and they're not able to defend. All right, we have some Blood Mages. We have Dragol, the Circle Master. So these are some remnants of the undead summoning forces of earlier days. So we'll certainly take great pleasure in ridding the world of them. Really, the only thing I ever see these guys cast is um, that basic blood attack spell. Other than that, the Guardians are pretty weak. Let's see how she goes. Yeah, Pain Transfer, that's what I'm talking about. Arbalest's already doing a number on them. That's perfect. They're skelly spamming. That could be a problem, depending on how many of those they pump out. Miskatonic is here, though. He can do some banishing. Hopefully these guys will avoid the skeletons and go back and take out the mages. And it looks like the heavy infantry are staying behind to protect the mages. But we're heading through. Oh, that'd be great if we could take one of them out. Yes! Yes! Good job, either Miskatonic or Abstract Trader Hero. Heavy infantry's moving up. These guys are pulling around the back. Barbell is banishing. Come on, guys. This is the fight of your lives! Everyone's still okay? Yeah, everyone's fine. Ugh, the skelly spam. Make it stop. Come on. Yeah, one more down. Come on, guys. Power your way through the skeletons. Oh, I think we had some friendly fire there. All right, heavy infantry's on the run. Oh, I think we have this. I think we have this. Our flying shards have been super effective. Yeah, you guys are done. One more to go. And he's fleeing rather than standing up to our might. And he's able to get away. So, we lost nine Pikeneers and two of our shielded infantry. That is not bad at all. That is not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there's our Fearbolg Fortress. So what we are going to do is we're going to produce another spy. Because there's more thrones for us to look at. And we'll go ahead and pump out... Hmm... Wow, 22 resources? I think not, sir. I guess we'll go with our Arbalesters in that case. And let's head on to Omicria. All right. Barbell and Miskatonic are going to stay here, I guess. And Barbell... We do want to claim this throne, right? Yeah, it's not going to hurt us. It's going to give us some gems. And claim that. 
It's a throne province, and it connects to the sea. So let's start with uh, 30. We may want to pump that up further if this province up here, Dark Blue Sea, gets taken by a nefarious enemy. All right, and we have Childebert. That will be Bob. Welcome to the team, Bob. Are you team player, Bob? Hope you're a team player, Bob. Anything decent we can make at this point. Yes, a Dwarven Hammer. However, we have yet to get a 3-Earth Random. And we can't get Earth Boots until the next level, so... There's that. Alright, Conan, an Abstract Traitor. We'll move Barbell back to the capital on the way out, so... Oh. Hmm. Alright, how about... No, no, no. Alright, that's pretty good. That's, uh, 20 of each. And then... Abstract Trader Hero is going to take 45 archers. Beautiful. All right. Let's hold intact. Closest. We'll keep you guys there. And our Arbalesters. You know, it will hurt their morale a little bit, but I think it might be worth it to get them into a line. You get a double line? Conan will move you up like that. Abstract will move you there. That should be fine unless we go up against Nazca. Since they have flying enemies that can attack rear, we're going to have to, at that point, keep our commanders surrounded by friendly troops. But you guys are going to go over here. You're eventually going to take out Kopos. And we'll have this entire peninsula. Mounted commander. Okay, that's... Semi-useful, if we need that. Regular commander. Oh! I like this. What's good about this place is we can start recruiting amphibious units. Although these are Amber Clan. Amber Clan are pretty rough. It would not be a bad thing, though, for us to control this province. Although, defending it is another story entirely. But I shouldn't look a gift merman in the mouth. How expensive are you guys? 40 gold? Oof, you are pretty expensive. Oh, we are only 10, 10 gold. Two resources. You guys are going to get tore up by Amber Clan. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth the expenditure. We are soon up to three castles. We're going to need a tough army. So I think these guys will take this out and then come down to the south while Miskatonic and Barbell move over to the west. To Zog Zoglia. Alright. You can check out Salam, although you can't tell what throne it is, being as you are not a... Alright, there is Rylier. There's no enemies up here, so we'll continue to Walnut Woods. And since we're already going to be there, actually, we're going to have you go down a little bit. Oh, let's move Miskatonic along with... No, we're not missing... What am I saying? Miskatonic is staying here. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. I like where we are. I like where we're at. What do we have here in the capital? Nothing. You're recruiting Arbalesters. So you will recruit frontline infantry. Thirty men, one hundred and twelve. He demands. Interesting, interesting, because like, apparently this dude is Olmish. He is cheaper for us than for other nations. Well. 
Let's not mince words on this one. Let's give him 200. Perhaps he will be helpful. And Gufre, well, they'll, they'll get him back, I'm sure. All right, we're fine. They will assist in our westward attack. All right, and everyone, everyone is spoken for. No, Silvius, down. Batman, throne of the sun. Okay, this is one of those level three thrones, right? Yes. All right, so this is a good one to have, although it's an Anunnaki of the sky guarding this with Enkidu and some Springhawks. Springhawks are nothing to sneeze at. Black Ulm is moving around. There's the Sea Throne. Where's the next? Oh! There is Zabalba in Nightmarsh. All right, we'll head on over to this throne then, I guess. Just got to remember this is the Sun Throne. So Black Ulm is in near proximity to a level 3 throne, and I forget what this one is already, but I think it was level 1 only. All right, well, let's continue to see. Let's see where Zavalba's capital is. And we're going to actually head you down here to see what's on the island. All right. Barbell has claimed the throne of life. And the dormant pretender guards are awakening, but that is not, unfortunately, Chief Smith. Units have all gotten younger. That is a good thing. That means Miskatonic. Wow, you have fear? Oh, right, because you have legendary cruelty, of course. You're still old, Miskatonic, but you're, I guess, not as old as you used to be. These guys are going to go up here. And you two are going to head back home. Pick up some troops. And what we're going to recruit now are Pikeneers. Alright. You are going to search. And we will name our spy. Why not? Anko. Anko, I will try very hard to keep you alive. We, there's uh, items we can forge that will improve your stealth if you survive long enough to utilize them. And we also have a new smith. Emnil. All right, Emnil's going to research. And who's the highest up on the list here? I think it's Geralt. Geralt, you're going to move over here and build a lab so we can start recruiting more master smiths. Still nothing fancy, though, in terms of randoms. We're getting kind of screwed with the randoms. You know, we at some point we should also recruit a priest smith. Let's just do that now. I know we're missing out on the potential for a random, but we need someone to go around and start building temples. And here we're going to build more arbalests. And I guess another commander. Or another, I get another spy. Spy, commander, spy, commander. 80 leadership is pretty good. We'll have an Ulmish commander. Black steel, baby. All right. Am I forgetting anything? Everyone here is researching. Okay. There's... Oh! There's Riley. Alright, cool. So they're kind of guarding the bridge between the island and here. Bountiful land. Alright, Nightmarsh. So we're... I think Sabalba should be around here somewhere. Oh, wow. They're down here too? Stay frosty, Batman. And there's Black Ulm in the swamp. Alright, good. So they have been... They have been neutered slightly in this campaign. What I'm going to do is Silvius is going to be our Ulm scout. He's just going to stay in a neutral province close to where they are to kind of keep an eye on them. He'll move down here. What should you do? 
I guess we'll just continue moving around. Dimitri's fine where he's at. All right. Lovely. Soon we'll be at Legions of Steel next turn. That'll be useful. Oh, we didn't get the mercenaries. Wow. So you're telling me that someone bid not only over 200, but enough over 200 to beat my discount? Holy crap, man. Mercenaries go for pretty high amounts these days. All right. Well, the Olmish Empire has expanded to the swamps of Scantrast, the fertile fields of Omicria and Azamar, the high woods, and we have taken up residence of the Firbolg Fortress of Oiperi. We have taken Ossery and are moving now to the Kopos Peninsula. Oh, I thought maybe this was something different because the, the graphics were different, but it's just the same old stuff. Just planes. Okay, cool. And Chief Smith, the Lord of Dirt. God of Ulm, Lord of Dirt, King of Strength, as awakened. Now, we're going to forget this God of Ulm part. He is not a god. But we did find a hidden gold mine. Nice. Money is money, man. All right. We should have worked Kopos without too much trouble. But let's keep an eye on things. Your arrows are useless against us, horse tribe. And look at that. Nice. All right, we are the beneficiaries of Kopos, and we I don't like horse tribes because they are undisciplined. The Olmish armies demand discipline. We do not like troops that rack discipline. All right, we're going to go down here. Yeah. Really, we have... Oh, wow. Hmm. Thor Henry is two months away. We're going to move... Immediately, we're going to move Chief Smith over to Scantrast. Oh, that's funny. Someone down the list wanted the name Alaric for their character, but you are not going to be Alaric. Our first Priest Smith, the honor goes to... Cyber Commando. Did I spell that correctly? I, I mean, correctly the way... He wanted me to spell it. I believe so. All right, so Cyber Commando, you're going to head on over to Oe Perry and build a temple. Chief Smith is heading up Scantrast. That's good. We have a hidden gold mine. I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. And we're going to go to Azamar. And we're going to go back to recruiting. Just our run-of-the-mill smiths. And let's go to... Infantry of Ulm. Alright, what do we have here? Alright, Dimitri, you've waited patiently. So, we'll load you up. And we'll give you some more in the following turn. Geralt of Rivia, you are going to construct a lab. Thank you, sir. Gunter is now going to be the Drow Lover. He is held at arm's length from his other Ulmish commanders because unlike them, he's not a humanist, but rather he loves Drow. And uh, that is a forbidden love amidst Ulmish society, especially someone who is high placed enough to become a commander especially a commander who can afford the finest black steel. So his little drow fetish, hopefully, is being kept under the rug, because that will bring much shame to his family should it come out. Let us hope that it does not. All right. So... Ah! There is Zabalba. Ooh, and this little kind of... Uh, what am I saying here? Canyon? Little kind of... Yeah? Like what Helm's Deep is. Is it a... I don't know. So we'll go to Chibia and just kind of hang out in Chibia. Meanwhile, our spy is going to go to Falgoth and eventually try to get to wherever this is. You're going to head south to Iron Range. You're going to go to uh, Ebis. 
And what do we have here? The Throne of Storms. Two air gems. Yes. Absolutely. Miskatonic is going to head here quickly. Good job, Anko. Thank you for finding that for us. No thrones up here, huh? Let's go to Salam, I guess. Just be careful. Be careful, Anko, not to stumble upon the armies of Rylie. Okay, let's go up here. Alright, draw lover, we're just going to have you sit tight. Dimitri's going to sit tight. Barabel is not going to sit tight. Actually, Dimitri, I'm so sorry, buddy. You've been waiting patiently, but... Barabel comes with a morale boost. And he can... He can lead three units, too, which is good. Alright, so Barabel is going to head out with... Miskatonic, of course, but we should give him another buddy, shouldn't we? Let's see, who's on the top of the list? Solius. Solius is the highest up on the list. So, well, look, folks, actually, we are out of time. So, between episodes, I will instruct Solius on the spells that he needs to cast, and I will send him along with Barabel and Miskatonic to further the borders of the mighty kingdom of Ulm. We'll also hopefully start some forging as soon as we can, and get that ball rolling, certainly. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Marcus Aurelius. I would like to thank you very much for watching. We are, of course, Ulm, and we are continuing to forge ahead. Have a good one.